What is the ketogenic diet? That's what we're going to talk about today in this video. The ketogenic diet is in vogue and is a diet where certain foods are consumed in certain combinations. The goal is to run the body on ketone bodies as a form of energy production. These are used as your body's energy source and are created when you burn fat. This type of energy production is more effective, healthier, and much more energetic than production via sugar. Our body also has much more fat stores than sugar stores, also called glycogen. The great advantage of this type of diet is that, apart from more energy, you don't need small snacks in between meals and you'll last better until the next meal. The strong cravings for carbohydrates and snacks such as cookies, chocolate and other sweet indulgences will be absent if done correctly. It is interesting to know that many low-fat and low-calorie diets contain carbohydrates. This makes little sense, because carbohydrates prevent fat burning, this is due to the constant presence of insulin, which is released when eating foods rich in carbohydrates. 98% of diets fail because people are prescribed more exercise, which only makes them lose water weight instead of fat. Keto in simplified terms means less carbohydrates, moderate protein intake and high fat. We're not talking about unhealthy fats here, of course, like frying fat and other industrially produced oils, but healthy sources of fat. You'll find out which foods belong to the ketogenic diet in the next episodes. But now back to ketosis, which is the moment when your body creates ketones. You can already achieve this by reducing your carbohydrate intake by 20 to 50 grams per day. It takes three days for your organism to switch its fuel source from sugar to fat and start burning its own body fat. Let's make a comparison between the keto diet and other diets. With conventional diets, you do lose weight in the first two weeks, but this is just pure water weight. In addition, the actual weight loss through exercise makes up only 15% of the success and moreover, these diets are accompanied by food cravings and cravings for pizza, pasta, sweets. A low blood sugar level is also the result, because as already discussed, when carbohydrates are eaten, the blood sugar lowering hormone insulin is released. The more insulin, the lower the blood sugar level and the higher the craving for more sugar. With the ketogenic diet, it goes to the fat reserves. Water is lost only to a small extent. Constant hunger, cravings and the desire for junk food and sweets disappear. Many people report generally more energy, a clearer mind and improved concentration, as well as the absence of mood swings. To make your body's brief transition easier and more comfortable for you, be sure to add B vitamins and electrolytes such as potassium, magnesium, sodium, calcium, phosphorus, and chloride. When you eat a ketogenic diet, you'll notice other positive changes and improvements to your body. These include a significant decrease in inflammation and pain or stiffness, as well as improvement in your skin. In addition, there is another very important point. According to studies, over 80% of the population suffers from insulin resistance. Here, due to the high, constant presence of insulin, the cells are no longer receptive to the blood sugar-lowering hormone. A persistent insulin resistance, i.e. the preliminary stage of diabetes, is accompanied by severe physical consequences, including an overload of the pancreas, up to its complete exhaustion. In addition, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's patients have high insulin levels, mood swings and depression, the development of fatty liver, cancer, because cancer cells live on sugar, problems with the heart. Why? The inside of the arteries of your heart are very sensitive to oxidation. A high insulin level leads to plaque and calcification on the inner walls of the arteries, which leads to heart attacks and strokes. So what should the ideal keto diet look like and what foods are included? Find out in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.